In this video, I'm talking about the newest bone conduction hearing aid that doesn't require surgery, the Medel Adhere. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, consider hitting the subscribe button. I recently had the opportunity to learn about a new bone conduction hearing aid system that doesn't require surgery and also doesn't require the use of a soft headband. And the company that makes it is Medel, and Medel is well known for cochlear implants and also their Bone Bridge, which is a bone conduction implantable system. Their new device ad here is a clever play on words because it actually adheres a device behind your ear using an adhesive pad. But before we talk about this option, it's really important to understand how we hear. First, sound enters your outer ear through the ear canal and vibrates your eardrum. This vibration is transferred through your middle ear by the three middle ear bones. This vibration then enters the inner ear, which contains your cochlea. Inside of your cochlea, you have a number of structures including three fluid-filled chambers, a basilar membrane, outer hair cells, and inner hair cells. The cochlea converts this vibration into an electrical impulse with the help of the outer and inner hair cells. This signal is then sent up the auditory nerve to the brain where the auditory cortex can interpret the sound causing you to hear. Let's talk a little bit about how bone conduction works. When you have a conductive hearing loss, the vibration of sound can't make it all the way from your outer ear through your middle ear to your inner ear, which is your cochlea, otherwise known as your hearing organ. And when sound doesn't make it to your hearing organ, it doesn't even matter if you have a normal functioning inner ear, it will not matter if the sound can't make it there. However, the good news is, is that the cochlea being made of bone can actually accept vibration when you vibrate the skull directly. This vibration will transfer all the way from the skull through to the inner ear and will stimulate hearing regardless if you have any kind of an issue with your outer ear or your middle ear. And that is why a bone conduction hearing aid can actually bypass a conductive hearing loss. Not only does the Adhere bone conduction system work for a conductive hearing loss, it will also work for a case of single-sided deafness as long as your opposite ear has normal bone conduction scores. All right, let's get into the details of the Adhere bone conduction system, and first let's talk about the adhesive pad. The adhesive pad is extremely sticky. In fact, once you get it into place, it should not budge at all. I've been actually wearing this one for a week, and it has not moved one bit. It just attaches on that mastoid bone behind whichever ear you want to use it on. You can use the same type of pad for your right ear and for your left ear. They're designed to last three to five days, but like I said, I've been wearing this one for a week, mainly because I want to see if it causes any kind of irritation on my mastoid bone. I typically have allergic reactions to certain types of athletic tape, so I wanted to see if the type of glue that they used on this actually caused an irritation on my mastoid bone. And I'm actually going to remove it here on camera to see if there's any kind of irritation. It feels really good to me. It hasn't been bothering me the entire time that I've had it on. I don't know if you can see anything there in the camera. Obviously, I will check it here in a little bit. I was able to wear it for that full seven days. I didn't even remember that I had it on unless someone mentioned it to me and asked me what it was. And I basically work out every day, shower every day, and it never got in the way. None of the sweat caused any issues with it losing its stickiness, uh, and it never really caused any irritation at all. It actually comes in two different colors, and the one that I was wearing was the darker color, but it does come in a lighter skin tone color than that, which probably would have been better for my Norwegian skin tone. All right, second, let's talk about the sound processor, and unfortunately, I don't have a demo to show you, but basically this sound processor, and I'll put one here on the screen so you can see what they look like, it actually attaches to that sticky pad. If you can see that little raised bump there, that is where it sticks to, and that bump right there actually looks like a post that you would normally have implanted into your skull if you went with a traditional bone-conducted hearing aid. Just like the pad, the actual bone conduction hearing aid will work on either ear, and it does come in several different colors. I believe actually it comes in three different colors. I did have the opportunity to wear it for a little while, and it actually was really comfortable. It's very lightweight. You can hardly tell that you're wearing anything. I shook my head around a bunch to see if it would fly off, and it wouldn't fly off. It uses a size 13 battery, which will get you about two weeks worth of battery life, and it also has onboard controls to control volume and to adjust programs. 
It is FM compatible and it can function with other electronic devices. However, it will not directly stream from another Bluetooth device. You actually have to directly audio input into the device. It does have FM compatibility, which is terrific news, and it also has the ability to communicate with other electronic devices. Of course, you have to be able to tether the device to those other electronic devices with a direct audio input. Third, let's talk about how well it works. And the reason that Medel can get away with actually just sticking it to your mastoid bone rather than actually putting an implantable device in your skull is because that sticky pad is such a low mass that they don't have to create as much vibration or as much power to transfer that sound through your skull. Clinical trials by Medel indicated that their participants that were using the Adhere system were achieving similar results as individuals who were using a headband. They're also achieving higher rates of satisfaction from the users because of course using a soft headband is uncomfortable. If you don't believe me, go wear one for a full day and let me know what you think. The product is suitable for both adults and children and when I was actually able to demo the device, I could tell that it was giving me similar benefit to any other type of bone conduction device that I had demoed. All right, so let's talk about potential drawbacks of this technology. And the first one is, is that you have to have normal bone conduction scores between 500 hertz and 4,000 hertz, which means 25 decibels or better. This also means that it is not intended for mixed hearing losses. It is specifically for conductive hearing losses and cases of single-sided deafness when your bone conduction scores on the opposite ear are within the normal range, which again are better than 25 dB thresholds. I could also see how maybe wearing glasses would cause a problem if it actually made contact with the bone conduction device behind your ear, but you can always just change out your glasses. It isn't directly Bluetooth compatible with a smartphone, which would have been a really nice feature, but if that would have meant that they had to make the device even larger, then it's probably a good idea that they didn't. Overall, the Adhere Bone Conduction System gives individuals with a unilateral or bilateral conductive hearing loss or a single-sided deafness with normal bone conduction scores on the contralateral ear an option to treat their hearing loss without going through surgery. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.